Welcome to International Dairy Week's podcast, Around the Barn. We are so excited to be back for season two. Hello, I'm your host, Casey Trelaw, and this is the online space where those in the Australian dairy industry can connect with each other, as well as those right around the world in the lead up to Australia's premier dairy show in January. Through video and audio, this is the exclusive one-stop shop where you can catch up with our exhibitors, judges, sponsors and fans from across the globe to talk all things cows, technology and showing down under. The Greater Shepparton City Council is proud sponsors of International Dairy Week. The Tatura Township is thrilled to host the many competitors, visitors and judges and it looks forward to them all enjoying the many great things the region has to offer. Be sure to check out www.visitshepparton.com.au for further details. Quite youth orientated, we have Justin Johnson who works a lot with Holstein youth uh, in the country and has here in Australia for quite some time. Uh, we'll get into a bit about why we've got Justin on the podcast, but we've also got Courtney Afford, and Courtney is about to represent Australia in the Young Breeders School that will be happening over in Europe. That is coming up next month. For a bit of background on how all of that came about, um, Justin, how, how did Australia end up being able to compete in, in this competition held over in Europe? Uh, back in 2017, um, we had the Holstein International catalog at home and there was an article about the European Young Breeders School there. And at the time, we had a bloke called Roy Scherz working on the farm as part of a working holiday visa uh, employee. And uh, I mentioned to him about it and he'd actually been to the school and he said it would be a brilliant idea for uh, Australia to uh, take a team and uh, they prolong their, their skills and assets in the showing side of things. And Justin, how did it come about? I mean, take us behind the scenes of, I guess, the lengthy process of being able to get the very first team there a couple of years ago. Well, there was a lot of phone calls um, to start off with to find out if we could get a sponsorship to get get the trip up and running. Um, after about five phone calls, we had more than half the money we thought we needed to run the trip. So we thought, brilliant, uh, we could get this trip going. And after about three months, we had enough money and we thought, right, we'll put it out for um, application. And we had 27 people apply, which uh, blew us away with uh, the amount of interest that it had. And uh, take us back. I know it was a little while ago, but just how successful were we as a country uh, competing on the world stage? Well, the first year was 2019. Um, I think three of the five that we took over placed in the top ten. And there was 180 people uh, participating in the school and the competition. So it was a brilliant result. And the five that we took over were very, very, very good ambassadors for the country. Um, and we're lucky that COVID hit, so we couldn't run uh, one in 2020 and 2021. But, yeah, we're looking forward to taking the group over this year. And, of course, Courtney Afford, a fellow South Australian, will be a part of that delegation heading over late next month in August. Courtney, how excited are you to be a part of this team of five Australians to, to represent Australia in, in the dairy industry like this? I'm absolutely stoked. It's a great honour, really, to be picked amongst these other guys that are going over. And, yeah, it's just going to be great to have the opportunity to represent Australia in yeah, go see what it's like over there and what they do and what we can get out of it. So, so Courtney, what's, I guess, your understanding or, or I guess your involvement in the team? What will, you know, once you get over there, how will the competition work or, or what's your key area of focus? So for the first couple of days, I think we have a lot of workshops that we have to do, which um, covers all the aspects of showing, like the clipping, your leading, um, judging, and I think there's stuff on marketing as well and some other areas. So we do a lot of that and then they get into the nitty-gritty of the competitions with um, judging and parading. And, yeah, so my my key focuses are probably parading and my equipping as well. But, yeah, it's just good to learn all areas really and just, you know, hone your skills and whatnot. Fantastic opportunity. <clears throat> That's for sure. Justin, obviously, Courtney is one of five. Take us through the other uh, incredible four delegates to represent Australia. Uh, we also have Nathan Hart from Northern Victoria, Georgia Seaman from Northern Victoria. Um, we have Andrew Gray from South, South Australia with Courtney. And who's the other one? Oh, Caitlin Wishart from Northern Victoria. 
<laughs> so, that was a brilliant, a brilliant group uh, of, uh, of the, I guess, good young adults. And uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, representing Australia very well. A fantastic group of youth. I mean, they're all names that many of us are familiar with in the industry already because they're already doing incredible things. Um, Justin, I guess take us through. So it, it's happening in Belgium. What does the, the process look like? You've done it once before. Um, what will the delegates be going through once we get once they get there? Yeah, so once um, we, we land in, in Amsterdam, um, we have a few days of farm tours looking at the latest uh, technology and robots, um, solar farms, um, just giving a different aspect on farming in Australia. And then once I get to the school, it's pretty much a big uh, field day, but it's a, bit, a show as well. So they also get an animal to look after for the five days um, and they have to get, prepare the animals two days in a row. So it's not just a normal uh, show where you just prepare it once. So they've got a, and they get judged on both days, not just one day. Justin, is there a bit of difference, did you notice, the last time the Australians competed in terms of um, judging in the categories of, of parading and clipping? Are there differences in the way, I guess, Europeans present their cattle to, to the way us Aussies do it? Um, not really. It's very similar. Um, the handling aspect is probably a bit more strict from the, um, the UK and the Irish and, uh, handlers. So if uh, the Australian guys aren't up to their, uh, their standards, uh, they'll have to watch out. But uh, I'm sure they'll do quite a good job. They're a very good and skilled group. So on that, Courtney, are you doing any, uh, I guess, special preparation at home or, or sort of practising ahead of the trip? <laughs> a little bit. We're lucky enough. Unfortunately, missing out on Adelaide show does has its perks as we are breaking in heifers at the moment, so getting lots of practice in that um, aspect of things so yeah just doing stuff at home really of course and and Courtney I mean, at the end of the day you know so many of us know just how small the dairy industry I guess in particular in the showing industry is if you already maybe connected with other people internationally that might be going over to compete um not really actually which I think I'm more excited about is because there's just so many people to meet and to network with and yeah just gonna have a blast <laughs> Justin, what, what kind of opportunities does this school and, and I guess program and competition um, have for, for the delegates that, that do go over? Yeah, I think that's really good. Um, leadership and networking within the industry, meeting different people from other countries. There's 20 countries uh, going to the school. So it gives a great opportunity to meet people. And the dairy industry is a small industry, but when you open it up to the world, there's a lot of friendships can be made and everyone's welcoming as soon as you say hi, I'm from a dairy farm. So as soon as you meet them once, you can go pretty much travel free around the world. Um, last, in 2019, we met the Canadian team quite well and I think two of them continued on to Dairy Week as fitters okay. and it will happen again this year. Courtney, what did uh, what was the process? I guess to to put your hand up or to apply for it. So back in well, it would have been <laughs> April. I, I don't know when it was. It was a while ago. Anyway, um, we had to submit a like a dairy orientated CV and a cover letter, and then from then, um, I think they shortlisted some applications, and we all had an interview. So we had an interview with. Um, a few people like Holstein Australia, Jersey Australia reps, uh, ST rep, and there might have been a couple others. And, yeah, just went through an interview. And then from there, yeah, the five of us got picked from that. So it was pretty pretty intimidating, but it was a good process and it's good practice for, yeah, everything well, to come. I mean, after going through that process, Courtney, what was it like to get that phone call knowing that, that you would be a part of this very small group to represent Australia? Yeah, it was very exciting and I think especially with the group that we have this year, we're all going to have a lot of fun and be great role models for the Australian dairy industry and the youth and, yeah, it's just an honour really to be up there and to follow in the footsteps of the five that went the last time. Yes, yeah, so Justin, on the five that went last time, I mean, we have seen them go on to do some wonderful things. Can you take us through maybe some of the, the previous participants and where they're at now and maybe how the school helped shape that? 
Um, one, one little Sam, who works in an AI company in Western Australia, so he's getting more of a role over there. And we had Zoe Hayes, she was um, gone into a few judging commitments at a few shows. Um, even got a relationship out of it, so that's uh, quite a good one. It's Ricky and uh, Julia. And Brady's just at home on the farm and they've uh, put in a few more barns and changed the way they're farming up there. And um, I'm sure the trip will have opened his eyes up to what they can do for their farm. Fantastic. And, and Justin, obviously in previous years, COVID has, I guess, put a stop to the school going ahead. But uh, you mentioned it is now in its 20th year being run over there in Europe. How do you see maybe the Australians being part of it down the future? Is it going to be every year or what's the plan? Yeah, the plan is that uh, hopefully go for year after year, um, just trying to get people to stay in the industry. Um, there is a lack of fitters in Australia, as, as Courtney in, in case you would know. And, and once you get the 18 age group, you're like, what do you do with yourself? So sort of another avenue that hopefully keeps people interested in the industry, um, going to other roles maybe in the in- industry. Um, so, but who knows? I, I, me personally, this will be my last year um, of actually going as a leader, but I'll still be involved with um, the organising it and the fundraising for it. Uh, we do have someone lined up to take over from my role. I probably can't say just yet who it is. To be revealed. Well, no, it's it's, it's Bill. Um, it's just nobody knows. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be a Dutch a Dutch girl uh, named Kelly. I'm not sure how to say her last name. <laughs> Blyden Blydenale. <laughs> um, so she'll be a great great leader and uh, to take the group over there and being from Holland, I'm sure she'll have a few contacts and show a different to her to the next group to go. Well, that's that's huge news to to announce. And like you said, yes, Kelly uh, does hail from Europe, so she'll have a plethora of knowledge. Uh, Courtney, for you, what are you most excited about uh, to in your experience ahead when you head over there next month? Um. Other than obviously meeting people from all around the world in the one place, like where can you do that other than at World Dairy Expo or Dairy Week, you know, something like that. Um, but travelling again after COVID as well and to be able to do stuff in the dairy industry at the same time is just amazing. Um, yeah, and just to see all the different setups and what other what other people can do and what we can bring it back to Australia and to implement it here really, um, so we think. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us on the podcast Around the Barn. Justin, I guess congratulations to you for, you know, getting this off the ground and being able to send, you know, these incredible role, young role models in the industry to be able to compete on a global scale. And Courtney, can't wish you any more than the best uh, when competing. Not only will you be representing Australia, but of course, you know, your home state here in South Australia too. So wishing you guys all the best when you head over to Belgium in August. Nice. Thank Thanks, you, Thanks for having us. The Greater Shepparton City Council is proud sponsors of International Dairy Week. The Tatura Township is thrilled to host the many competitors, visitors and judges and it looks forward to them all enjoying the many great things the region has to offer. Be sure to check out www.visitshepparton.com.au for further details. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Around the Barn. We hope you enjoyed hearing from each of our guests. If you like what we're talking about, make sure you hit the share button. That's all we've got time for. We'll see you next time.